kind of let me run down the accomplishments and then I'll get your take on it. So seven wins, one major, um, Olympic gold medal, tour championship, new kid, arrested, charges dropped, 55 million in tournament winnings. What do you say? Um, I say that's a lot better. I, I, I'd say that's some people's whole lifetime. So for him to do it in a season, you already know how he's coming. Pause. But, uh, bro, just really uh, turned it up a notch this year, and um, it paid off. I mean, he went back to what he knew. Um, he stopped playing around on the greens with the blade putter and stopped trying to look cool and went with what was effective. And um, Ted Scott on the bag doesn't hurt. I mean, that guy is just no. a natural born no, winner. Sh- yeah, shout out to Ted Scott also. If if yeah. Scotty's paying Ted the ten percent, he's won five point five million this year. That's yeah, pretty damn true. good. But and that's without, you know, his amenities, his salary as a full time caddy to the number one player in the um golf. I mean I just think it's crazy to think about what Scotty accomplished this year. And then also still be thinking about Tiger because Tiger did this before. And then on top of that, I mean, you look at what Scotty has done as the number one golfer and then how many more years he still has to remain as a number one golfer just to tie Tiger as the number one, (laughs) as how many weeks he's been number one. But we're going to not go down that route. We're going to keep this Scotty focused because – we could go down a deep route if we went tiger on everything, but yeah, Scotty getting arrested, um, still bouncing back same week. And then for that to be, you know, I just think that really speaks to his character for him to just sit there and just dismiss that whole situation. I mean, (laughs) I think that's like a scarring situation for a lot of folks. And I don't know if they necessarily bounce back that quick. If at all. Well, he talked about it a couple times this week, and then particularly in his post-win press conference, or not press conference, but when he was sitting on set. I think something was impactful about the reception that he received from the crowd when he did actually get to the course that day on that Friday Mm -hmm. of the PGA Championship and just said that he, he was emotional about it. He said he broke down later on in the day just thinking about that moment specifically so i think just that extra level of support that he received from the fans contributed to the maybe the bounce back and i think in real time when we were discussing it you know we were just really hitting on the adrenaline you know must have been flowing going into that round after what had happened in the preceding hours getting out there on course and being able to shoot a decent round considering what he went through that particular that first you know part of the day so I mean, I agree. And, you know, knowing that you're probably in the right in a situation um, helps, right? <laughs> when when you yeah. know that you, one, you know, have the finances to handle whatever may come your way, but also feeling like that you were falsely arrested, which we covered the details of that um, a couple of times as well, that, you know, charges ended up getting dropped. The uh, suspicion around right, that particular so. officer. Yeah, 100%. I mean, what we could see from the coverage showed that Scotty was really trying to be compliant. The way that the officer approached wasn't necessarily to their standards and code, didn't turn on the body camera. All the things that we've seen from police uh, went on and during that arrest. And, you know, again, due to his status and the high status nature of this particular arrest, charges ended up getting dropped. I mean, Louisville continues to be one of the worst police departments, you know, major, major right. police departments in the country. So, yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was crazy impactful, but in the midst of, it's just crazy to think about it in the midst of this year that he's had. Um, and we're still not done, right? He could go out there and have a bang up president's cup here yeah. in the next, you know, handful of weeks and really cement that. I think we, we talked about it. If he won the tour championship, player of the year was definitely locked down. Xander, while admirable year, very good. Two, forget admirable. Forget that I just said admirable. Two majors is 
awesome. And then finally crazy getting over good. the snide. Crazy good. You know, on two different setups, getting over, you know, the snide, getting the major win. Awesome year as well, but hard to compare up to Scotty's. But um, yeah, I, I, I think that Scotty's got the player of the year locked down 100%, not even a question, should be unanimous. Not if either. somebody votes outside of that, you're kind of an asshole. But no no shade to Xander. He's he's really now put himself in that elite class, which we talked about. I know how right. I feel about this, but a question for you. You know, you're going to have people that really are going to put an asterisk on Scotty's season, that it wouldn't have been achievable if... You know, there wasn't the split and division in golf right now. What do you think about that aspect of it and people making that particular argument? Um, I think it's, I don't think it's the right, I don't think it's the right route, but clearly that's, you know, up for debate as everybody wants to say and think it is because just because John Rom wasn't there, I mean, that's about all I got. I'm. You keep going down the list, and the list keeps dwindling. Terrell Haddon's not making an impact on Scotty Scheffler's season or where he resides on any leaderboard. John Rom, right. maybe Cam Smith, and maybe half of those fields, maybe everybody else that you know yeah, went Mark, over to Mark the other Shambo. side. The Shambo, of he, course. Don't, don't he, forget about I him. mean, true, but also you have to think about real life situations we just saw scotty get arrested does dj not fall down the steps again does brooks kepka not injure his wrist again on a on a random route or something on a golf course again if this was 2021 post covid or 2022 in the synopsis of the league when everybody was still primed and still playing a lot of golf and still relatively invigorated to play this might have a bigger stance and what's going on with what happened this year. But we are almost three complete years and seasons removed from the split of the tour. I just think that argument is played. I Just straight up. It's played, bro. They've had time to adjust. They've had time to get into a new regiment and a new regular schedule. So for them to not be ready and not be ready for these majors, which is they're still qualified for five, six guys out of the tour um, from the live side. Like I said, I'm just unmoved by this. It's 2024, bro. If this was 2022, 2023, even barely, you know, a year and a half removed, yeah. two years removed, it would hold more stature in this argument. I'm not seeing it now. Rewinding all the way back to where we started, kudos to, to Scotty Scheffler. I expect more. And the only thing that I would say is, and I mentioned this early, a few episodes ago, is that I would love to see him win another major outside of the Masters. We've talked yeah. about how kind of niche Augusta National is, and there's certain players that have an eye for that particular course. They can go there and courses win. For courses. Yeah, pretty routinely. I would love to see him solidify himself winning on a venue that is not Augusta National. And to me, it'll really just not legitimize, but I would have absolutely no doubts about who he is as a player, even though he has shown it week in and week out. I think the Olympics was an, another step in that. That's the world stage. It's on a, you know, outside venue playing against everybody, you know, people that, you know, yeah, there wasn't a Bryson DeChambeau there. But again, like you said, he hasn't necessarily competed on a stage to be able to get enough qualifying points to get out there and be considered for the Olympics. So kudos to, to Scotty Scheffler for this amazing year. Like we said, still one more event that he can add to that legacy for this year as well. I think the fact that he won that gold with that field, that 60-man field, um, at Le Golf National, which was, as we saw in the Ryder Cup, was just a completely, a complete mind F for all the American golfers. Haven't seen anything like it. And he went out and not dominated, but handily won that. Yeah. We all know 
some people are faking the funk and, you know, they're talking about the medal don't count. But to me, that's double a major. The gold in a lifetime, as a especially as a niche sport player, that right. to me holds a little bit more weight. But I, I agree, though. I, and the thing about the majors is I like 100 percent agree with you. He's already legitimized what he's got going, his stature in the game, but this will take him to a different level. It's not the same thing as him just finding a different way to win at Augusta or finding different ways to win at courses he enjoys or suits his eye. The game's is the same thing that we always say, even amongst amateurs and the homies. The game's got to travel, and it's got to be able to show up in more than one avenue. So I agree. Hopefully next year, um, you know, he goes down that route and, you know, we see him make a move at the U.S. Open, which, again, a home, a guy like Scotty Scheffler that the people endear him winning America's Open, buddy, I, I mean, it's going to go crazy if he does. So Father's Day weekend, too? From the – you know, college to the corn ferry tour to these, I, I always say, I always knew Scotty could be successful if he could get to the PGA tour. This was something that I told myself. I didn't know if he could get through the corn ferry tour. I'm being honest with you. I didn't know that he could shoot 28 under week after week, but obviously I was wrong. I wasn't wishing it against him. I just, it's, it's hard to do. And obviously, he's capable of playing whatever level they put him at to keep going. So to get to the level he is now in the the last, you know, 28 months has really been astonishing to watch. And it's it's almost surreal. It's like, wow. But it's it's fun. It's it's really fun for us as a family. And, you know, it's enjoyable to watch. I'll tell you that. He's I always I said Scotty brings a lot of joy to people. So. We're, we're, we're glad you, you get a lot of stuff out of this channel y'all a little business knowledge you know a little technical golf knowledge a little bs in here and there you're you're in a well-rounded environment <laughs> so Absolutely. uh hit that subscribe button hit that membership button um we got you covered on all things golf